Hey guys, it's Albethium back with another video for Helldivers 2 and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make the automaton missions on even the Helldive and Impossible very, very easy. And before I even think about asking you to click that like or subscribe button for me, I just ask that you give me a chance to earn that from you. And with that being said, well, let's get in on this. So, for this we're gonna be bringing the shield generator pack, of course, because it's pretty much essential, especially since I personally am running the lightest armor I have, just for speed. We're gonna be combining that with the grenade launcher, and I'm also gonna be using the sickle, because the automatons, the light infantry, they kinda don't perform very well under suppression fire. And not just that, the sickle, it fires really really fast, and it just chews through the regular soldiers, and these guys, they more often than not, they kind of group up all of them, all of the automaton units, they just group up. And this is going to be very much the key here, because, well, you have the impact grenades that are going to be so damn good against everything, and you have the grenade launcher, which is going to be chewing through pretty much every single unit out there. The grenade launcher, however, it's also going to be pretty damn amazing at killing the bot factories. Now, this thing is so versatile in automaton missions that you simply cannot afford to take with you, especially since it doesn't have a backpack and lets you use the shield. But what truly makes the automaton missions so damn easy, it's going to be the orbital laser. You can just approach any type of objective that, especially if it's a destruction objective, or it doesn't even have to be, all of the automaton strongholds. Just go, you chuck the orbital laser in there, and go behind some safe distance or a rock or something, and watch the fireworks. The orbital laser is going to be chewing through everything, even the reinforcements, the bot factories, everything. You are just gonna be needing to throw this in there and it's done, basically done. And by the time you reach the other objective, the well, the cooldown should be coming down pretty damn easy and you would be ready in no time at all to repeat this because usually you have two or three, you know, main objectives and that is going to be enough for you to finish these missions. And again, I simply cannot stress enough the importance of the impact grenades. Now, a lot of the Devastators, they also come very, very much uh, kind of cuddling together, and uh, obviously the splash damage is going to be taking down most of them. You are going to be having a large variety of Devastators, even the guys with the shield, and even the Striders. If you do not want to be using the grenade launcher on them, you can always chuck these amazing, absolutely amazing grenades. It's going to be that simple. Now, remember, Remember, this build, if you can avoid fighting, you absolutely should, but if you have to fight, you are absolutely outfitted to do everything. When it comes to the second stratagem, I cannot recommend the orbital railgun enough. Sometimes you might want to be taking down the tank or even the hulk. But remember, even without using that, the grenade launcher is going to be so damn amazing at killing these big, big enemies. If you feel comfortable enough, I recommend also that you take down the little guys first and go down one on one with these bigger guys. It is going to be really that simple. And there you have it guys, this is a really well-rounded build. I myself think the only flaw is that you are still a little bit squishy, but I leave this up to you to choose if you wanna be maybe running a tougher armor. But you have crowd control, you have everything, you have the impact grenades and you have the grenade launcher, which is going to be simply amazing because I say again, the automatons tend to group up like this and just share that splash damage. You have the orbital laser for the objectives, you have also the orbital rail cannon if you don't feel comfortable enough taking these guys one on one. And there you have it guys, the build. I hopefully this serves you really really well, let me know in the comments if you tried it. Please do not uh, kinda quit on it if it doesn't pan out on your first try. Give it a little bit of, well, practice, because with practice it all comes together. Practice makes perfect, do not think in this game that you will ever get some sort of a game-breaking uh, push one button answer to anything. Guys, this is Elbetium, I will see you in the next one, hopefully you have a great day, bye bye.